Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to review my Go Wild swag, but with a little different twist on it. You've seen a lot of videos that go through every single piece of swag, and they're out there. Just search for Go Wild Haul, and you can see everything that we've got. My video today is going to be just the things that I'm actually going to use. So when I'm looking at videos that are out there, seeing everything we got is great, but I want to know what you're actually keeping because it's a lot of stuff, right? So first thing is the t-shirt. It says you can sit with us, which is a little, uh, homage to Mean Girls. Um, <clears throat> Chrissy on Designs does the t-shirt every year and honestly it wouldn't matter what this said. It's the softest t-shirt I've ever owned. Um, I've got one from last year that just says wild on it from Austin. They're beautiful t-shirts. I'm not a t-shirt person but this is really really comfy. So that is a definite keep. Next is this water uh, cup that we got from the Happy Planner in our bag from Stephanie and it says Go Wild um, Las Vegas and then the other side says sisters, girls, gals, women, babes, mamas, and llamas. And while I don't really like to be called a gal or girls or you know uh, babe this is a great water cup i've been using it every day since i got back and you know i just turn it to the go wild side so there's that next on my definitely going to be used list is the bag so every year Kristen at Christian Designs creates a tote bag for us that we get at registration and this one says go wild Las Vegas and then it says get in llamas uh, we're going wild. I love it because it's pink and pink is my favorite color and last year's was navy which is beautiful. This one will definitely get used. It's got uh, it's a really sturdy canvas. It's got a zipper top. It's really functional. Love the bag. Again, Chrissy and Designs. So I've got a couple of things in the bag. Uh, there's another water bottle. Um, I went all in from Chrissy and Designs. This also came in a registration bag. The water bottle, again, is very functional. And these are metal. So, um, you don't have to worry about them getting cracked. I, my last one has taken a lot of abuse and it really holds up. So, love the water bottle. The next thing, now this is from my table swag. And my table was sponsored by Sticker Geek Designs, which I was thrilled. Um, inside, well, right now I've got some stickers from Chrissy and Designs that we got in our stuff, but the thing that was in here that really excited me, there are stickers, they're samplers from Sticker Geek Designs, and it's all my favorite fandoms. So you've got, this one is, uh, Gilmore Girls. And then the next one is Mary Poppins. And the next one is uh, Practical Magic. Then you've got Doctor Who. Next we've got uh, Charmed. And the last one is um, Hocus Pocus. Which... Again, all my favorite fandoms, and what I love about these is that they are samplers. So I'm in a B6TN. This is the perfect size. I need a few date covers and some washi, and I'm all set. I've got six weeks worth of stickers. So that was awesome. Also from my table, 
is this really adorable pouch. It's got the little llama with the, with the flowers on top. And in here, there were other things in here, but I've got a few things, um, uh, mostly from the swag bag. And these are stickers and things that I will actually use. So I'm a huge fan of pouches, as you know. This one from Vividly Ronnie. Uh, I love some date covers. I can always use extra date covers. Then this die cut from the Gucci Project um, says, I plant you, but, and then there's a squirrel. It's just adorable. We got this sampler. This is a new to me shop. This is Lexi Kylie and it's pink and it's blue and it's nautical and it's just, it's gorgeous. Then we got a lot of dashboards. This one came from the Sugar Gale shop. And it says, I have a problema. Um, I love that. It's pink. It'll go in my TN. I love the packaging on this. This is hand sew. The top is actually sealed with stitching. And there's a doily. And this came from another new-to-me shop, the Planner Bus. I love the detail. I'm all about packaging. And then... Uh, the Planner Fairy gave us this bumper sticker of Lorada that's going to go on my car. I got a postcard from Sticker Geek from Hawaii. There's another postcard or dashboard from a small town, Grace, that said Planner Friends make the best friends. This will probably go in my memory keeper for Go Wild. Then... This is another new to me shop, the Crafty Banana. These are just gorgeous. And they are the Vegas Skyline and the guitar from the uh, Hard Rock. And this will go into my memory planner. I love me some stamps. These came from Kindred Spirit. And there's a Go Wild stamp. And there's some icons. And um, just really functional stamps. So I really appreciated that. I, uh, there were a few post-it notes, not too many. This one is from Caffeine Queens, and I just love the llama that's going to work. To remind me of my friends. This one is Plan to Design, and I love the colors on this. There's a full box, there's some checklist. Again, being in a B6TN, this is very functional for me because I just need to add a few more stickers from my leftovers collection. And I'm ready to go. This one came from Pretty Cute Planner on Etsy, um, which is another new to me shop. And it's all motivational um, phrases and sayings. And it's really positive and uplifting. Be gentle with yourself. You're doing the best you can. You're brave for trying. Uh, hey girl, it doesn't happen overnight. Really, really positive messaging. And then I have from my little chickadee another new to me shop. These are um, some <clears throat> go wild stickers for next year. So when do ticket sales go on sale? The collab. Things like that. And very pretty colors. And the last one, Jameson Reed. I love, love, love their laundry. Uh, banners, um, so that's something that is definitely functional for me. Okay, so that was a few stickers. What else is in there? Oh, table make gift. So, uh, the table I sat at on Saturday, we had a few of us who were giving out table make gifts. This is a cup holder or a pen holder that's cactus and um, this was from Bethany and I told her when we were sitting together that my desk at work is decorated in cactus so this is a perfect addition. Love it. Okay. Next we got uh, this giant box from Michaels. Last year we got um, a smaller version of the same box. So functional. I have things in here that I'm going to keep, not necessarily what was in here, because there were a lot of things in here 
that I'm going to give away to my friends. Okay, so, and it's got, you can see the top comes out, and it holds a lot. So, oh, I've got a couple more stickers. So this I loved, not necessarily my style, but I just love the idea. Um, so these are two separate uh, sticker companies, and they coordinate. So between the two of them, you have a full kit, which I thought was great. And these are Joyful Planner and uh, Sticky Situation, both of which are new to me. And that's really what a lot of this is about, is discovering those new to you uh, sticker companies. All right, so we'll go through the top of the bin and then we'll get to the end of the bin. Kristen, again, Christian Designs. This is, says, uh, but first let me take a selfie. And I used this throughout the conference. This is a um, selfie ring and, you know, it, it lights up. Three settings. Very, very useful. And I was thinking about buying one and, and then it was there. Um, from... Erin Condren, we got this little charm that I really like that says Wild for Planning. Um, this was in the swag. This is, you can barely see it, from, um, what is it, uh, Paper Dove Shop. And what it is, is it's a foiled uh, bookmark, but also washi holder. Then another bookmark. This came from Plan with Samia. And it says, Heard you were a wild thing. And it's Vegas themed and lovely colors. She does mostly printables. So I really appreciate having something physical um, to check her shop out. In on my table swag, we got these cute little postcards that are foiled and llama themed and just really adorable. Also in table swag <clears throat> is this little notebook that uh, says go wild and sticker geek designs and it's just your basic notebook um, but it's dated, it's undated and you can add the dates. Um, the paper's pretty nice and there's a pen. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Um, from Compulsive Crafts, there are these die cuts from M. And this is her uh, service dog, Gizo. And this one says, you are worthy. And there's another one behind it that I haven't looked at, but those I thought were really nice. From Erin Condren again are the compliment cards and these compliment cards have um they're really nice phrases very motivational and i will probably keep them on my desk at work and rotate through them also from erin condren is this night mask which i used on the plane going home it was great functional it's very soft very nice bloom uh, planner gave us this decal that just says go wild Las Vegas will go in my memory planner Michaels gave us blocks and blocks of post-it notes and these are the pop-up kind and it's really great for again we'll go in my desk at work then oh there is stuff in here so the uh, Chrissy and Designs during one of our breaks gave out um, these pouches and it says, I might have a pen. Sorry, I left my lending pen at home, which is funny because I did leave my lending pen at home during Go Wild. Um, so, <laughs> and then in here, let's see, I got this. Uh, British pen that I got from Vanessa, who lives in London now. And then this was another table mate gift. I'm a fan of the quirky pens. It's a little crown. Um, 
And then, so this year we did, uh, Kristen did, and it wasn't just Kristen, a few shops were doing poker chips. And these I got from friends. And this one actually came in, sorry, came in the swag bag. And what I like about this is it's got a little piece of sticky tape on the back so you can attach it to things. So that will go on top of my memory box. And then, oh, this is funny. So uh, I ran into Kristen and Damien in the elevator and they were giving out a variety of things and this was one of the things. And this is the same CAD hand sanitizer from last year, but I've used the hand sanitizer um, at work and my boss is a huge germaphobe so I really think this has saved my career. So I'm happy to have another bottle of it. And then this is so cute and it writes really well. It's a gel pen with a little cat and you click on his tail. And then I've got all of my flair from this year and last year on this banner that I got from Venus at a Trader at Home. Um, what else is in here? Very tiny little charm, but so cute that I got from, I think, one of my table mates or swap. I don't know. Um, this was another one that was in with contact cards, and it's a little tree of life. And then this little clip with a llama is from Noah's Ark Plans, another new to me shop was in with the swag. And um, this is Lisa V Creations. She does lip balm and this is margarita flavored and it's delicious. And then of course there's tons of washi. So I had, I did, was fortunate enough to get there in time for the Gold Wild set. So that will be mostly memory planning, but like, this will be used, the wild one, that just says wild on it, that'll use for wild dirty. Um, this is probably more washy than I actually need for, that says go wild Las Vegas, but it's very cute. And that one was made by Cookie Sticker Co. And then there's Pink Room Co. does wonderful washi. And some of this is going to go to my planner friends and samples. And, you know, some of it I'll use. And then this is the Simply Gilded from this year. I used about half of the bows from last year up already. Um... So that's functional. And then this is really pretty from <coughs> Cricut Paper Co. I didn't even know they did washi. Like, I've shopped at Cricut Paper Co. before. So those are the main washies that I'm really, really excited about. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Okay, so now in the bottom of the bin. Um, we'll start with more washi. So we've gotten this washi before from Michael's. It's the watercolor washi, but I gave it away last year and I'm looking at it and it's nice and neutral and like for those kits that don't have wa bottom washi for, this is a great thing because it comes in a variety of sizes and, and, and it's pretty neutral as far as colors. So I'm keeping that. We got from Lights Planner Action. I love Bess's stuff. Um, hey, I heard you were a wild one in neon dashboard. And then she has, <clears throat> and I'll use this mostly at planner meetups as a sample. Um, but it, what it is, is it's a variety of her layouts um, in a single book, which is a great way to introduce her paper and her designs to people who have never heard of Lights Better Action. 
during Kristen's session, we got a uh, booklet on goal settings. It says, Chase Your Wildest Dreams, and it's so cute. There's Steve with a thought bubble, and, and she went over, I mean, it's basic goal setting, nothing new, but um, very fun. So, I will definitely use that. This, <clears throat> I... It's really pretty. I have a B6 planner. I am not Erin Con an Erin Condren girl, so I want to keep it because it's a cute pouch um, and it's pink, but I'm not sure this might be going to a friend who does use Erin Condren. In the Michaels box, there were two, four, six, eight B6 notebooks. And I'm in a B6 TN, so this is perfect for a quick little pop it in and use it as a junk journal kind of not even a junk journal but just for lists and things um the diane really gave us or ranger really gave us these stickers it's a new sticker kit from diane really of diane really then this was in the michael's box i think Think. I'm not sure. Um, this is a cloth covered hardbound A6 or A5 um, journal and it's just lined pages but it's really pretty. From Bloom we got a planner and this is 2019-2020. Uh, it starts in August. Um, and there's a monthly overview, and then it's horizontal lines. I intend to use this for journaling. Let's see how that goes. I intend to journal a lot, and I only wind up doing it during vacation, so I'm going to try it again. This came from, um, Russell and Hazel, and it's a vegan but feels like leather um another a5 journal and those are also rural pages i was very very excited to finally get the erin condren tote i love a reusable tote and you know this is the free gift with purchase thing but i was excited and i'll use it that's the thing I, the, all of these things I will be able to use. We got, um, <clears throat> this is from Let's of London. And what it is, is a tiny little purse journal. Perfect for lists on the run. And it comes with, it's very fancy, it comes with this little pen that fits right in. Um, the paper is like that onion skin thin paper so I wouldn't use it for anything that I really wanted to keep forever but they also she had on display and that um wasn't giving them out those five year journals where you write a line every year every day for five years and then you can look back um and I'm it was really pretty so I'm thinking about getting that also we saw the Filofax people now the Filofax people. So I wasn't going to go see the Filofax people because it's a Filofax. I remember Filofax from the late 90s. But this little tiny journal that they gave me has removable paper that you pop right back in just like your Happy Planner. But no discs. So I'm excited to try that out. I don't think I'm going to like removable paper. I don't like the way that functions, but I'm going to try it out. Uh, Zyron, uh, this is, makes stickers. Then my official washi cutter, the uh, um, room key. Um, Fiskars always gives us, or Michaels always gives us something exciting from Fiskars. So this is a new knife. I love the products I've gotten from Fiskars in the past. 
one of the llamas was giving out toothbrushes and I thought that was a great idea. And who can't use a toothbrush? Um, I went to the National Atomic Testing Museum and I picked up this, uh, their Einstein post-it notes. I <laughs> thought it was so cute. And the last thing in here is Cultivate What Matters. These are the power sheets that Cindy has been talking about and doing. And I am going to try this uh, probably this summer. I'm not ready to do this now, but um, eventually that is going to be it. And that's it. Everything else that I got, tons of washi, other notebooks, everything else is going to my next planner meetup, local planner meetup to give away because these are the things that are functional for me. And the rest of that stuff, I don't want sitting around. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you had things that you're keeping or if there are things that I'm keeping that you're not. Um, let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you later. Bye.